Welcome to the SAP Business One version for SAP HANA, HANA Feature Series. Today we will take a look at Business Object Count. With Business One, you get five count widgets pre-delivered. The first five that you see here are the system ones, and the last two are customized ones. The number that you see is simply the number of documents that included in the final query. In this case, it's a list of deliveries. I can open it, sort it, and even drill down to the document. If I open one of the custom ones, for example, opportunities in the lead stage, I would see the opportunities and as well, I can go ahead and drill down to it. Let's take a look at the queries behind those count widgets. The first five are system queries. So I'm going to open up one of those queries, like uh, my open AP invoice. It really is a regular query, except for the particular code that we entered here that indicates um, the owner and or the user signature to match the current connected user. So you can use this code as an example uh, when you create your own queries for the business object count. Now, if I take a look at the opportunities in the lead stage query, it's just a simple query. And of course, whatever fields I include in the query, those will be displayed in the object. Now I have another query for overdue POs. Again, another simple query. I'm going to create an uh, account widget. So I'm going to go uh, to add mode and, and identify a code and a name, in this case, overdue POs. And I will point to the query that I already uh, created ahead of time and saved it in the query manager. Once the query is saved, uh, I can add the count. Now I just need to add it to my cockpit if I would like to use it. So I'll go ahead to the widget gallery and include the new uh, count widget. And here is the final result. I see the number. And of course, I can drill down to the actual document. Thank you for your time.